<laughs> I'm exhausted right now. But um, no, I've been just an incredible grand final series so far. And, you know, I guess where I sit to say it deserves to go five, um, you know, we're, we're, you know, incredibly privileged to go back to Melbourne and, and have one more shot at this thing. So, um, you know, game wise, you know, I just thought there was some amazing desperation plays that were made tonight. You know, the our ability to dive on the floor on loose balls and come up with extra possessions, um, you know, amazing. Um, you know, heavy minutes from a lot of guys and so we, a lot of recovery over the next couple of days, but we get that extra day from last time and um, we'll be ready to go. Uh, we, we know that it's basically just a shot that's been separating some of these games, but what did you feel like you guys did well in this game that, that you fixed from game three? Yeah, you know, we were, obviously we harped on the three ball and the, um, and the O boards and so, you know, we, we brought those down certainly a level from the last two games um, you know um, I think they were um, I think we limit them to probably eight attempts from the three in the second half and that's a that's a, a big part of you know what we're trying to achieve is is to continue to run shooters off the line and trust our rim protection and um, you know make it as hard as we can on on some mid-range floaters and um, for a period there I thought we were pretty good with it they come up with some shots and made some ones off the backboard and um, things but yeah um, yeah that was a yeah just I don't know we just we had a great belief that we were just going to win this one tonight and um, you know we made plays to go ahead and do it and there was a, a, a number of amazing plays and this guy sitting next to me just he looked like he was a problem offensively all night when he was touching the basketball and made huge plays um, I was pretty close to going to him down the stretch but Delhi <laughs> Delhi really wanted that last one and made a hell of a play and got to the rim they went to their small ball right up in the fourth quarter again do you feel like you guys were better prepared to handle it this time around Absolutely. You know, we spent a lot of time on it. Um, you know, I thought there was absolute clarity about how we were going to defend it. There was still some that came downhill pretty quick, but, yeah, so much better. Um, you know, well, I failed to mention in, in big plays was Joe's steal, you know, just to um, put him back in the game for the offensive possession and have a good screener in the game. Um, but then for him to come up with a massive deflection and a save, um, massive, massive, huge play from him. Clark, um, after a game like this, what's your mentality going into a do-or-die game like this in a really hostile building? Win. This is pretty, pretty simple. Um, it's been a, like Coach said, it's been an up-and-down series for uh, both teams, and um, I just, I loved our resiliency today, even when, um, you know, they made runs and, and hit big shots. Um, we didn't panic, and that's a credit to the guys that we have in the locker room that have been in big moments. Um, they understand that the, the moment that we had, uh, the moments that we had throughout that last quarter, um, and being able to just be fighters and be be resilient and, and come out with the win. So I'm excited to go back in front of our home fans uh, Sunday um, and, and and take care of business. Can you give us an idea of how much Delhi lifts the rest of the team? You can sort of see the urgency that he plays with. How does that lift someone like you? Um, it helps me a lot. I think one. Personally, I, it's more his um, his calmness in every play. Um, he's he's so level-headed in um, in bringing guys together in huddles um, in timeouts. Um, but also, even when guys when the other team is going on a run, whether it's this series or last, um, he's the first one to, to bring guys in to to say next play um, and, and to get us back you know where we need to be and, and, and move on. So um, he's been great um, helping me. It's been a you know great being teammates with him, obviously. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm glad he's on our side. Uh, two questions about the, some of the sequences at the end. What was it like watching Joe, who's had a volatile series, make that play at the end, that steal that led to your free throws? Um, I mean, guys, when guys called upon, you know, we, 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 they respond. And you know, I know Joe loves the big moments. Um, and I think we all know that. And he's, he's, such a, he's such a competitor. So being able to have him in in that moment, um, it was big. The steal was massive for us, and and, and him being able to save it um, and, and keep it in bounds so we can um, you know keep the possession was was great for us. What went through your head when it was Jack McBay who rose up for that shot in a really similar spot? Not again. Dean, what went through your head in that moment? I saw 
certainly a flatter shot that I'm like, this is either backboard and in or backboard and out. So, um, yeah, maybe it was our, our turn to just get a little bit of luck on one of those. But what do you think the key is to sort of carrying this momentum over the, the game five? Um, yeah, I think we'll highlight just the desperation and the loose balls and the passion that, that we played with and the, the huge plays that we made. Um, you know, obviously McVeigh was great again tonight and, um, you know, we left him a little bit more single coverage, you know, tonight. And, um, yeah, I think there's, we can hopefully try and restrict his talent a little bit, but he's been he's pretty, pretty, pretty tough down there. Um, you know, everybody else we feel like we've done a reasonable job on. So um, lock in on him a little bit more. Um, make sure we just continue to get the ball movement. You know, we just had this couple of four or five possessions like, oh, we just looked a little, you know, slow or didn't quite get the initiation the way we wanted to. So I think if we can, again, keep attacking the rim, there's the rim protections down a little bit with Marcus not being there and we've just got to keep putting our feet in the paint. Is there anything uh, wrong with CG? I mean, it's got noticeable yeah like everyone there's everyone's got a little something right now so yeah nothing to be worried about yeah just quickly following up from that Dean I mean it, it looked like everyone out there from your point of view was either exhausted or carrying something I mean the start of that performance it was just full of heart how proud are you of what your, your team does need to do yeah, you know, massive with, you know, Joe picking up that fourth foul as well. And we we saw that last time we were down here and, and I thought he had a much different mentality tonight. More, it's like if I foul out, I foul out, but I'm playing aggressive, you know, with this, with this last foul. Um, you know, Ari was a little bit, you know, jumpy, and, you know, in his first stint, had some opportunities to go, you know, crack a couple. And then I thought, in, in, in when Joe got his fourth, I thought Ariel was really solid, you know, through that period for us and really calmed down and, and did, did his job, did what we needed him to do. So, you know, r really proud of, of those moments right there. Yep, everybody's got a couple of little niggles, but, um, you know, put it all to the side tonight and say, let's just, whatever it takes to go get a win and get back home. On a similar note, Ian, I mean, you've got guys that are, that are sore, you've got guys exhausted, but when you've got game five now with championship on the line on Sundays, how much does that just get put to the back of your mind to know you've just got 40 minutes to go? To go? I mean, you know, it's, it's game five, so if you can't get up for it, you know, this is, this is why you play the game. Um, you know, to being able to, it's, it's a privilege to be in this position, to be able to, to play for a championship. Um, for us in front of our home crowd as well. So um, I'm sure emotions will be high um, even after this win, but we, you know, we never can get too high or too low right now. Um, making sure we, we, you know, look at the film uh, these next couple of days and make sure we, we come back uh, ready to play Sunday. You won't know the answer to this until after Sunday's game, but how much do you feel like going into it? Do you think it helps that you've been on the biggest stage in the world? Delhi's done it in the biggest stage in the world. You've got Chris who's done it at the Olympics all over the world. How much do you hope or think that experience will help on Sunday? Um, I mean, I think it's been showing all playoffs from, from a lot of guys in, in different areas. We got a lot of guys that, uh, like I said, are, are competitors, but also um, are, are not rattled in, in, in big moments. And so, um, you know, leaning on each other um, is, you know, it's, it's been a, a collective of guys stepping up and having voices and making plays. Um, and I think that coming into Sunday, you know, we're going to have a lot of guys that, that have been in that position before. So um, using that and, and playing off of each other, um, is, is, it'll be great for us. Thanks, guys. Tom, you just tuning in or are you?